If you want to take some screenshots of various elements in Visual Studio for use in blog posts or documents, then there are a few things we can do to make them even more professional looking. So let's dive in. A trick to make flyouts appear on the right hand side of the top level menu is to move the Visual Studio window to the left outside of the screen, which forces Visual Studio to show it on the right. It's important that you select the command you want to highlight. And once you do, you can hit Shift Windows S to go into the screen shot selection mode. Make sure you select an area that's larger than what you need. And we can now head in to paint.net. We're just going to new up a new image and paste in our screenshot. We're going to go into selection mode and start peeling away what we don't need. I'm going to speed this up so it will be a little faster. Once you've cleaned up everything, you can use the magic wand to select the entire empty area around the top level menu that you're interested in keeping. Then hit Control I to invert the selection and then we can crop to selection. And now you have a clean screenshot. Make sure all relevant UI elements are visible. So you may want to do your right click on the side of Solution Explorer in this case. Once you've selected the command you want to highlight, you can take the screenshot. And again, you want to keep the whole context with the screenshot. In paint.net, we're going to use the magic wand again. And this time we want to select the blue background. Now by default, the tolerance is a little too much. So we want to adjust the tolerance to just take the background. We can then delete that. And then use the magic wand to select the empty area. Invert the selection and crop to selection. Go to the window start menu and type sysdm.cpl. From the dialog box, find the setting to disable shadows under windows. We can now take our screenshot and copy it into paint.net. We're then going to use the magic wand to select the blue background and adjust the tolerance to make sure that we include the border of the dialog. We can then invert the selection and then crop to selection. And let's just zoom in to make sure we included the border. And we now have a clean modal dialog screenshot.